Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of adding and subtracting positive rational numbers. This is standard 5.3K in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 29 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so Ethel and Gustavo ordered a pizza. Ethel ate one quarter of the pizza and Gustavo ate three eighths of the pizza. How much of the pizza did Ethel and Gustavo eat? So it looks like they're ordering just one pizza. That's what it says here, right? Ordered a pizza. All right, so let's see if we can solve this. We'll do it with a pictorial representation first, then we'll figure out how we can do it without a picture. I'm actually going to put these lines back on. I'm going to make my pizza a, I'm going to make it a rectangular pizza. I know pizzas are typically going to be circular, but it's going to be easier for me to draw the eighths here or the fourths. Well, let's start with what Ethel ate right here. So let's see if I can draw. Okay, so I'm just going to try to draw a big square here. Let's say I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So two, four, six, eight. All right, I figure I can, if I'm going to make a non circular pizza, I might as well make it rectangular pizza, right? So here we go. We can start with this right here. All right, so I've got my four quarters, right? My four fourths. So I can say that FO eight one fourth. And so I'm just going to put this right here. Ethel. One fourth. All right, that's that whole section right there. Now, uh, the issue is going to be, what do I do with Gustavo? Gustavo has got eights, and I don't necessarily see eights here. But hopefully we know that there is a relationship between fourths and eighths. Watch, I'm going to do a light magenta here. I'm going to take each of my fourths and cut them in half. If you take a fourth, cut it in half, you actually get an eighth. So look, now I've got eight sections. Ethel has still eaten her entire fourth. Okay. I'm just going to kind of shade this in since we've got multiple colors of lines on here. This is Ethel. She's eaten her fourth. But now I've got eighths sitting on this pizza. So now I can easily get Gustavo to eat three eighths. All right, so I'm going to say uh, Gustavo. And I'm going to just make it these three down here. So I'm going to say Gustavo. And that's going to be three eighths. So he's eating one eighth here, two eighths here, and then that three eighths right there. All right, so how much of the pizza did Ethel and Gustavo eat? Well, since everything is cut up into eighths, right? One, two, three, four, five, looks like five eighths. All right, now how do we solve this without drawing a picture? I mean, there's nothing wrong with drawing a picture, but sometimes the fractions get a little bit weird. Well, one fourth plus three eighths. You don't just add straight across. Four twelfths, not the answer. You need common denominators. So we should hopefully think, you know what, if I double my one fourth, I'm going to get two eighths, right? Because ethyl ended up eating two eighths, right? Now you can simply add two eighths and three eighths. But remember, when you add two eighths and three eighths, these are just eighths. I didn't make these into sixteenths. Take a look at this answer selection right here. C. This is if you add the numerator and the denominator. When you're adding fractions, the eighths, the denominator doesn't change. All right, once we get it into the denominator we want, that stays the same. We're just trying to figure out how many eighths we have. I've got one, two, three, four, five eighths. But that eighth is the unit that we're using. Okay, it's not a quantity for us to add. So our answer here is going to be B, 5 eighths.